Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 13 The Show, and we have got some more Atlanta Braves franchise coming your way. Now you can see we are 13 and 4. We started off the season hot, and we're only one game ahead of the Washington Nationals in the NL East. And I know it's the beginning of the season, so it's not a huge deal that we're up by one game, but you know, once we reach the end of the regular season, that one game could be the difference between, you know, going home because we're done with the season, or if we continue on to the postseason. So it is a big deal for me. So I thought that I was going to get everything figured out here in this game because I had just played the Pirates in Diamond Dynasty, and Mike Zagurski kind of throws me off here since he's going to be pitching for the Pirates. All right, so starting things off here, Angelton Simmons gets a big hit in the left field, but it's going to bounce right off the wall, and it's going to end up being a double. Now, I was like, Zagurski, I don't really know this guy, so I had to do a little research, and apparently now he's playing in AAA for the Pirates, but he was a spring training invitee, and he really didn't do that good. And his stats are pretty low in this game, so I'm expecting a lot of big hits off of him. So Johnson hitting this one over to third base. But, gosh, that is not how you play first base. Maybe if you had Lou Gehrig in there, I would have been able to come up with that play. But that's going to put runners on first and third for me. So we're already starting off here the way that I was expecting it to. Justin Upton up the plate now. He's going to hit this one. Absolutely crush it. It's going into left field. Ooh, it's not going to be a home run. Bounces off of the wall. That is going to bring one run home. And we've got runners on second and third now. So three pitches, three big hits. Zagurski, gosh, really struggling. I think his hits per nine inning uh, attribute is in the 30s or 40s, if I remember right. It's something pretty bad. But this one going into center field, not a huge hit, but it's going to be enough to be able to bring those two runners in scoring position home. So Johnson and Justin Upton will be able to touch home plate. And Zagurski's already getting talked to. So not the start for the Pirates that they would want, but it was the one that I was expecting. All right. So, yeah, because of Diamond Dynasty, I mean, I kind of know what pitches to throw, where I need to be careful about throwing, and, you know, who I should really fear. I mean, obviously I know enough about the Pirates to kind of know who I should fear and who not to, but, um, gosh, this couldn't be any better for me. You know, it's like I got a practice game in here against the Pirates before I actually got to play this one and I apologize too that this is a little late uh, this would have been the game from yesterday but just as I mentioned in the Lou Gehrig video that I did right before this it's kind of been a mixture of me working on other stuff sheer laziness and me being ridiculously tired so anyway I'm getting it up here and I'll get the Rockies game up here pretty soon as well I'll probably do one more Diamond Dynasty I can't believe he swung at that one that was a terrible one to swing at but I shouldn't complain too much because I've swung at stuff like that Anyway, Andrew McCutcheon getting the first hit for the Pirates. Just get, gets past Johnson over there at third and rolls out to Justin Upton in left field. But luckily for me and the Atlanta Braves, this really doesn't turn into anything at all. And Freeman's just standing in his way. But anyway, bottom of the first here. Two outs. This is why nothing happens right here in the inning. Nothing comes of it because McCann makes the catch and just gingerly walks into the dugout. So that's positioning right there, I guess. Anyway, top of the third here, we do skip an inning. Really not too much happened. But we're going to be seeing another great hit for the Braves that rolls out to McCutcheon in center field. So now another hit. So we're really getting things going. I'm not going to advance over to third, though. It was really close. That was a close one. So now we've got Johnson on second, Justin Upton on first, Jason Hayward going to hit this one in the left. I'm going to go ahead and round third with Johnson, which is a bad call, but he gets out of the way of Russell Martin and gets into home without being tagged. That was amazing. I was expecting the throw to be off, but not like that. So not the smartest call on my part, but Freeman hitting this one in the center. Now I'm going to go ahead and round third again. That throw was off. That's what I was expecting earlier, and I'm surprised McCutcheon wasn't able to make a good throw because a lot of times McCutcheon has thrown me out at home with his phenomenal arm, but just doesn't happen right there. I luck out. Now, this is just great baseball. I mean, this is something I have to show because no other game have I been able to see anything like this, but this is how you play outfield. You get as much momentum as you can into that ball as you throw it, and that means you have to fall on the ground, basically, you know? So A.J. Burnett coming in to relieve Zagurski here. And honestly, I think A.J. Burnett probably should have started. Zagurski's not somebody who I would want to be able to start 
uh, for my team. But anyway, so now that he's in here, BJ Upton up at the plate. Got a runner on second. I'm heading over to third. I think that might be Jason Hayward. Yep, it is. So Hayward steals third right here. 2-2 two, two count, and I forgot that I had two strikes right here, so I'm just kind of explaining what happened. So I go with the squeeze, and I don't get any wood on that one, but I'm able to make it home. Lucky for me that there was less than two outs. So, hey, I guess it got the job done. It was not pretty, but it's a run. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. Neil Walker up at the plate now for the Pirates. Kind of have made a few mental mistakes in this game which really scares me because I don't want to get to the point here where I'm just like, ah, I got this. You know what I mean? So if I start, you know, getting all lazy and stuff like that and really not pay attention to what's going on, I mean, it could really end up hurting me in some of these games. Plus, every time I play a game, I have to think to myself, if I mess up, how am I going to explain this one? This looks absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to get laughed at. But hopefully I turned things around here. Maybe this was just a flute game. You know, I did have a few things going on while I was playing it, but... It's not like it was distracting or anything. All right, so Miners had a pretty good game thus far, as you can see, not allowing any runs and just a few hits up to this point. So nothing perfect or anything, but, hey, I'll take uh, I'll take no outs. So get him to swing at that one, and that, that at bat really showed Miners' ability to be able to paint the corners and really put everything on the edge of the strike zone. That's what I like to be able to have in a pitcher because great things will usually happen after that. So, you know who ends up getting the hit right here? Yep, Miner does. So, you know things aren't going too well if your pitcher ends up getting a hit. But, I don't know. That stuff happens from time to time, of course. All right. So, top of the fourth here. This one going deep into center field. McCutcheon not going to be able to get there because it does go over the wall. So, a home run for Justin Upton. So, Miner gets on first. And then I have a couple bad at bats. But then here comes Justin Upton. And I get the trophy. Arrighty. So, hey, I'm all about racking up those trophies too. But that's going to expand the lead here again. This was the type of game I was expecting to have against the Pirates. So it's nice to see that, it, at least for the first part of the game, things are definitely going my way. Justin Upton has had a great game thus far. All right. So here we go. BJ Upton getting this one oh my gosh McCutcheon with a great diving catch that has got to be the greatest catch I have seen in the show thus far now most people might not find this to be a great defensive play but honestly I thought the hustle of Angelton Simmons right there uh, made it so that way I need to show that as a highlight I thought it was a good defensive play just because he made the effort to run that one down even though it was right in the middle of the infield so all right Justin Upton you dropped that one just because you're having a great game offensively doesn't mean you can't play defense. So that's going to be an error for me here in this game. It's going to allow a double. It should have been an out. Kind of sad day, but uh, we see another hit out of the Pirates. So runners on first and third. McCutcheon taking this 0-2 pitch. And that's going to roll into center field, and that's going to be a run here for the Pirates. So they get their first of the day, and runners are going to be in first and second for them. So it's imperative that I stop this from getting out of hand, and I do. Eight to one's the score in the top of the sixth. This one going into the gap in right center. It is not going to be enough to go over the wall, but it just bounced off the top of it, and I end up with a double. So a lot of big hits right here. I must admit, the pitching for the Pirates has just been absolutely terrible. Jason Hayward now up at the plate. I'm heading over for third. Justin Upton able to get in there. No problem at all. Man, I've been able to steal some bases today. I actually had one more, I think, besides this one that took place earlier, but for the sake of time, I couldn't show it. Third base coach, pretty happy about that one. All right. So, 8-1 to one here in the seventh. I wasn't able to bring Justin Upton home. But McCann crushing this one. Ah, really close to being another hole-in-one. But... As long as it goes into the stands, I'm a happy man. So that's a solo shot for McCann. I've had two home runs on the day thus far, which is good to see that I still have that bit of power. But I really, really like the fact that most of my runs have come off of hits. Because those of you who've really been following this Braves franchise pretty closely, 
you guys know I've been able to get a number of big bombs here with the Braves, and that's really what's been the majority of my runs is coming off you know those those big hits, and a lot of them have been sh uh, solo shots as well. But anyway, kind of nice to be able to have both here in this game, and I hope it continues. So Martinez is going to be coming into the game now to relieve Miner. So he comes in in the seventh inning after Miner allowed one run. That one is going to be a hit in the left field. There we go, Justin Upton. Making a good defensive play. Ugla have to jump, has to jump for that one. All right. So got to be careful here. I just really wouldn't want to explain how I ended up blowing a, you know, an eight nine run lead. Oh my gosh, Angelton Simmons. It's an underhanded throw. How do you miss that? I don't know how you missed it, but Angelton Simmons did. So it would have been a double play. Yeah, it turns out to be just a bad situation for me. But anyway, we're in the eighth inning now. Bottom of the eighth, Justin Upton not going to be able to get to that one. And I'm, I'm kind of nervous about jumping for that stuff because the computer a lot of times thinks I'm just diving for it. So I wouldn't want to dive just right into the wall. That's just asking to get like a broken wrist or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and let it go. But Simmons is not going to be able to get there. Runners on first and third for the Pirates now. All right, we got to calm this down here. We got to calm it down quick. Though, granted, we would probably be in uh, better shape here if I wasn't playing so poorly. But Martinez makes the throw over to first, and it is not in time. That is the second play on the day where Martinez has kind of hesitated in his throw over to first. There was one where it was absolutely ridiculous, and nothing came from it. So I, I didn't get to show it again for the sake of time. But, gosh, I'm really frustrated with his fielding ability today. So B.J. Upton throws that one over to McCann at home. So bases are loaded right now. And I'm going to bring Martinez out, and I'm going to bring in Eric O'Flaherty, who I'm hoping will go ahead and close this out. ERA still sitting at zero, but he's only been in – uh, 4.1 innings this season so we'll see how this unfolds as he's going to be under a lot of pressure right here last time I can remember this happening we had Roy Oswalt in and he allowed a grand slam so Hayward's going to have to run to this one gets to the wall runner's going to tag up and come home but you know what when I'm up by this amount I just want to get the outs so I'm willing to sacrifice a run right now to get the outs runners on first and third now for the Pirates you can tell that they have really been on a hitting streak at this point, and we're trying to do everything we can to shut them down, and nothing is happening. That's going to be another run for him at this point. Oh, man. All right, so we're able to finally get out of that inning, which is good. All right, so we're going to see if I can build on anything right here because my hitting, it's kind of calmed down, really, except for that home run by Brian McCann after inning number five. Really not too much has happened. But I'm able to get a single right here. And what is absolutely amazing about this is he's only in for just one pitch. Now, Justin Upton, five hits on the day, as you can see. The best game that he has had all season long. I told you, just one inning. So Jared Hughes coming in, and I absolutely destroyed him in Diamond Dynasty. So I kind of know velocity, where he's going to be throwing, things like that. So kind of prepared to go up against Hughes right here and only good stuff can happen so here we go with Hayward up at the plate again I'm gonna be heading over for second it was a hit and run and it turned out to be perfect for me now I'm gonna be able to make it over to third gosh that worked out very very well so Hayward making contact when I needed it great time to do the hit and run and then Freeman though I hit into a double play right now with Freeman. Still able to go ahead and get a run since there were no outs right there. So I guess that's a little bit of a, a bittersweet play. It's good that we got the run, but I still don't like hitting into double plays. But this is the only one that we have seen in this game that we would have had another one if Angelton Simmons didn't miss that underhanded throw. You can tell I'm a little bitter about that. All right, Russell Martin of the Plato Flaherty has done a pretty good job. Except for this one. All right, so this is going to be a home run for Russell Martin. It is going to be a solo shot. So now the Pirates, five runs away, but they're pretty optimistic. As you can see on the sign, it says it's not over yet. Well, the game basically is. At least that's what I feel. But 
good to see the Pirates at least getting a blast here at PNC Park. Not going down without a fight. I don't like shutting anybody out either, too. So they've really been able to get some runs late in the game, which is nice to see. But 0-1 count right now. O'Flaherty is going to get the pop-up out here. Actually, Freeman's going to get the out. But you guys know what I'm talking about. And that's going to go ahead and end the game. So a big win for us. This has been some of the greatest offense that I've had all season long. And I really attribute it to the fact that I played the Pirates right before this in Diamond Dynasty and kind of knew what to do. But I appreciate you guys watching more of this to come later on. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. All I got to do is check the description below. But thanks again, you guys. I appreciate it. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.